The Tonga-Fiji region is one of the most seismically active areas of the world due to high rates of convergence between the Australian and Pacific plates. Closer inspection of this northeasternmost compressed tip of the Australian plate reveals a small collection of microplates not discussed here. Using the Iris Earthquake Browser, we see a pattern of earthquakes that is shallowest at the Tonga Trench and gets deeper to the west, where this earthquake occurred at over 500 kilometers depth. Though the epicenter is above the Australian plate, we'll use the Iris Earthquake Browser's 3D tool to look beneath the surface of the Earth, where we will see that the hypocenter of this earthquake occurred within the subducting Pacific plate. Earthquakes of this depth occur exclusively within subducting oceanic lithosphere, especially within old ocean plates that are subducting rapidly, thus remain brittle, as this one is. Now we'll look at a cross-section of the Earth to see how the seismic waves travel from the hypocenter of the earthquake to increasing distances away. The seismograms will show not only the PS and surface wave arrivals, but also the PP and SS waves that bounce off the surface from below midway between the hypocenter and the recording seismometer. The clock shows a hypothetical earthquake time of 9 o'clock and the time it takes the seismic waves to travel the distances. Thank you.